Hi, I'm Merlin Tuttle, and I've just been out into a durian orchard in Thailand where we spent several hours in the rain catching cave nectar bats. Here's our little nectar bat. He's quite a cutie. And this is one of two that we're going to try to get calmed down and ready to work with tonight. He's going to go in this little toilet paper tube so I can weigh him. Probably not going to be too happy about that. Hang on. There he goes. Now, now he's settled down. <laughs> okay. This bat weighs a small mosquito net tent that I can set up in a room anywhere and I can work in very close association with the bats so that they can't get away from me even though they may be a little frightened at first. Now here I have the bat still in the tube I weighed him in and I'm about to get him out here. This is a new freshly caught bat. Okay, now I'm going to offer him a little bit of sugar water. He's, we caught him more than two hours ago, so he's probably getting hungry. There, ah, see, he's starting to eat already. This is his very first time to have experience eating in captivity. See that little tongue coming out? He's a nectar bat, so he has a long tongue. I just want to be very gentle with him because we want him to soon decide that he likes us humans. You see how quickly they catch on. Now you let me reach up and stroke him a little bit. He's getting over being afraid. Yeah, you want to ear scratch a little bit, huh? There we go. Now keep in mind that this bat's only been in here no more than 20 minutes now. And he's already letting me give him back rubs. Hey, you want some more? There we go. Boy, that's good stuff. Really good stuff. Uh, clean your nose off. Yeah, boy, that's good, isn't it? We're going to be right good buddies here. Well, I hope in showing what I'm doing here to tame a bat for photography, well, at least let people see how harmless and gentle they are and how smart and quick they can be tamed. I don't mean to encourage anybody to try to keep bats as pets. That would be a very bad idea. But uh, this little guy is already so tame in the first 20 minutes. I can reach up here and give him a back rub, stroke his back, tickle his ear a little bit, and he may be ready any time for a little more food. Let's see if he wants a little more food. Yeah, see this little guy has completely overcome his fear. And probably if I came into my, had him in my bigger studio tomorrow and came in, he would very likely fly to me to get fed. These bats have very long tongues because they're used to sticking them down deep into flowers to get nectar. Well, I think this time maybe I'll just release him from my knee. Okay, now you know it's good. We're going to stroke you a little bit. Calm you down. He's looking for more food, licking my finger. And he's not sure what to do about all this yet. He's still a bit frightened. There he takes off. That's right, dude. Hi. We're going to be friends here shortly. He's trying to figure out if there's any way to get out of this contraption he's found himself in. And I'll let him do that for 
just a short time, maybe five minutes, maybe less. Now we're going to put both of them into the enclosure at once, and that'll cause a little first excitement as they run around trying to figure out what to do. Come on. Let's climb around a little. There we go. There we go. Come on. <laughs> You didn't want to get out of my hand. Yeah, she's very tame now. now I'm going to wipe her little face a little bit. Got a little juice on her nose. There we got it off. so bad in here is it okay you want a little bit more to eat yeah this old gal's figured it out really well they not want me to take it away from her wipe her little face again maybe she's gonna clean herself off Okay, gal, we're just going to touch you up a little bit here. You want a last little drink for the night? Sure do. Oh, yeah. I can tell by looking at the wings and the size of them. This is clearly an adult female. And the other one is uh, kind of a teenager, as bats go. He's got, she's got all there. She tried to hang on to the syringe so I couldn't take it away from her. When I'm dealing with fruit and nectar eating bats, I have to be extraordinarily careful about not allowing them to run out of energy. They can run short of energy and just die on you very quickly if you don't feed them enough. And yet, from being so weak they can hardly move, they can be flying around with all kinds of energy just after eating a few eyedroppers full of nectar water but they're living on a very thin energy budget. It's not simple taking pictures of bats. Just to do a set that looks natural that we're going to do tonight, showing bats coming to wild banana flowers, takes one, two, three, four, five, six, at least seven flash stands and tripods. And when you put all this stuff together, it weighs about 350 pounds. I've set this studio up at every kind of location you can think of, from chicken coops to Indian huts with thatched roofs to uh, fancy five-star hotels, almost anywhere this can be set up. We're set up, now I'm ready to introduce them. I'm going to try to get them out as gently as I can. Here comes a little feed out. Another eyedropper full here. There you go. There we go. It's doing fine too. Here, come on. There you go. Come on. You can do it. Come on. Okay. Go ahead and fly off. These guys learn really well. They're quick learners. The bat coming is going to be about that quick anyway yeah. because you know he'll be focused in fairly tight and the bat's just going to go and he'll be there. Look at him try to take the whole thing. He's trying to take it away from me. Okay, our two little nectar bats have been in captivity now for two weeks, being filmed for all kinds of pollination shots. And we're ready to release them back to the wild. They're in great health. 
had so much to eat that they're not even hungry now. Tried to give them some food while ago for their trip back home. They're very tame. I can handle them any way I like now. Here we go. The older of the two. She's doing very nicely, as you can see. We're about to put her in her bag for her trip back to where she came from. Ah, he doesn't want to go. There the other one went. Sometimes it hangs. You want me to hang them? Sure. It's up yeah. to you. Sometimes it hangs on the street. There yeah. he goes. Okay. Bye-bye. Successful. Yes. <laughs>